What's going on? Ryan Troy back with another video for you today. And in today's video, I'll be showing you how I whiten teeth and eyes in Photoshop with my free action that I have linked below in the description. Now with this, you'll also get this image. Uh, it's going to be a JPEG. So you can feel free to edit along with me. If you need to pause it, if you want to just watch it a few times, up to you. If you are interested in more content like this, make sure that you leave this video with a like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. But before that, I'm not trying to get off, not trying to let you go too fast. Let's head to the computer and get into this action. Now, this is the photo that we'll be working with. Uh, as you can see, you may want to whiten the eyes a little bit and you may want to whiten the teeth just a tad bit. Now, I don't want you to think that this is how the photo was straight out of camera. I actually applied my preset called Page Smile to this. Uh, so this is straight out of camera. And this is with the preset. Now, this preset is something that I use outdoors a lot, and it gives more of this warm feeling off a little bit, which is why the teeth kind of turns a little warmish as well. It's also a very vibrant uh, preset. So if you get this preset, this action is probably something that, you know, you will do a lot. Uh, there's a teeth whitening preset and not preset, but brush in Lightroom. That brush a lot of times it works, but for those times where it doesn't, this action right here will work 100% of the time. Now, like I said, this, so this preset is a little vibrant, which causes a little purplish in the eyes and, you know, warmer tones in the uh, teeth. So let's get straight into this action. So once you, once you download it, you will have this right here. Also, if your actions don't look like this and it looks like this, uh, I usually come over here, right here, and put it into button mode, and then it'll look like this. Also, if you don't have actions there at all, uh, it will be here under the window tab under actions, okay? So just do that. And if, once you do that, it puts it right here, just grab it right here, and wherever you wanna put it, boom, put it right there. Now let's get into this action. So all you need to do is just click it, and it comes out like that. Drop this menu down right here. Don't worry about the curves. Don't worry about the black and white. The photo filter is the only thing that you need to worry about. So click that. Make sure you have a white brush. I will have the brush on about 14% hardness, all right? And what we will wanna do is make sure that this uh, mask right here is highlighted, it's checked. And we'll come down, let's do the T first. We'll come down and we will start going over the teeth. Now, as you see, this is extremely white and this is not what you want it to look like in the end, but we are just doing this to make sure that we get everything and everything is the same, uh, have the same opacity basically. So I'm gonna speed this up and when I'm done, I will show you what it looks like. All right, so now what we wanna do is we we'll just back it up a little bit. Uh, always make sure that when you doing something this drastic, you back it up. It's not good to look at things and edit things like this close together. You wanna keep it back a little bit so you can see the whole image and see how it plays with it. Now, what we wanna do now is take this right here, this group, and we'll close it up. Make sure it's highlighted. Now, before I do the next step, I'm gonna just show you this is before and this is the after. This is definitely not what we want. I see a lot of new people in Lightroom that get the uh, teeth whitening brush and they just crank it up and it just doesn't look real. We wanna make sure that this looks as real as possible. So we take our opacity, we put it to 0%, right? And slowly what we'll do is we'll start to push it up a little bit, see how it looks. Remember, we just want it a little more whitened. We don't want it the color white. We want it to look as real as possible. And we don't walk around with pitch white teeth, you know? Uh, so I would say 
about right here is starting to look good to me. Let's see. That's before, that's after, right? I would say these teeth right here look a little bit more real. And if you want to push it up a little bit, you can. I'll say about right there, maybe. All right, so look. Before, after. Now, that's perfect. Now, what we'll do with this now is we'll just name this teeth. And then we'll come back over and we'll do it again. So, we will choose the eyes and teeth whitening. You don't want to put them on the same layer. And the reason why you don't want to put them on the same layer is because the opacity that you may choose for the teeth will be totally different than the opacity that you choose for the eyes. And then also, you know, you get to see exactly which layer is doing what. Never try to have two different things on the same layer. Okay, so let's go into the eyes. Remember again, drop this down. Touch the mask on the photo filter. Uh, opacity 100 flow 100 on the brush and we get to painting in the eyes okay and the same thing right here okay perfect now once again way too white it looks good but just way too white so we close this group one more time and we take our opacity down to zero on the layer and slowly, once again, we start to lift it until it gets to an area that we think looks good and real, realistic. We definitely want it to look real. Okay, so this is before and this is after, okay? And I'm actually cool with that. This is a 49%. Uh, let's look at it a little, little bit close. And what I would do is I'll stamp everything, right? So let's put everything right here and I'm gonna get rid of that just to show you before and after of everything. So here we go. Before, okay, and after. Before and after. If you learned anything or if you downloaded a free action, make sure that you leave this video with a like and subscribe. I really appreciate that. If it's any other retouching videos that you want me to make, uh, just leave it linked down in the comment section, actually. And uh, I get that up for you. All right. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day. Tú de otra Porque eres así Y así